I think one of the biggest problems we've had is we've fallen into this trap uh, in terms of education policy in Texas of teaching to the test, uh, pushing everybody to go to a university, uh, failure to recognize that young people have different talents and interests. And, um, and, and I worked very hard as chairman of the Texas Workforce Commission to begin to undo that. And what I believe we need to do in, in terms of improving the quality of education in Texas is to return to local control of education. Uh, because the local independent school districts, I think, are, are best positioned to know how to de deliver a quality education to our students. Uh, I also believe we should have multiple pathways to a high school degree. Not everybody uh, uh, should uh, have to take a four by four curriculum. Not everybody's necessarily going to go to a four-year university and those multiple pathways can include a college preparatory pathway uh, emphasizing math and science, one emphasizing the humanities and, and fine arts, and a career pathway which would allow young people to get a coherent sequence of vocational courses in high school so that by the time they graduate they will have an industry certified credential or a license and can go into work immediately after high school or can go on to college if they choose to and work their way through school and avoid some of the problems of the high debt that students are facing in education today. So I think we began with the passage of House Bill 5, which I was a, a part of, uh, to, to move education back in the right direction here in Texas. So I think the, the previous system, it didn't help in terms of critical learning skills and we were trapped into too much of what I call test learning, not real learning. And that needed to change, and we're beginning to change that. And as governor, I'll uh, continue that direction. As one teacher told me, you know, we're so pressured, uh, by, we're measured by the state, by how the kids do on the test. We know certain kids are not going to do well. They tend to get ignored. Certain students are going to pass and so they tend to get ignored and our focus is all on the kids in the middle. The rural area in West Texas is very different uh, from a center like Austin with its heavy emphasis on uh, information technology or an area like Beaumont, Texas or Houston, Texas where there's a strong emphasis on petroleum uh, engineering and oil and gas. So I, I think you've got to understand that uh, everybody gets the basics but the uh, the local districts ought to be able to have flexibility uh, to determine how best to educate the, the students in their area. We have a tracking system today, it's called the dropout track, of a lot of young people who don't see education as relevant to them, and they're dropping out of high school. Kids learn differently. Uh, at the Craft Training Center, for example, Ann Matula, who heads that program, points out, she says, you know, I get a lot of boys in here that uh, were heading to be dropouts. Uh, they learn with their hands and they start, we start teaching them to be welders, electricians, pipe fitters, and guess what? The light bulb goes on and they see, oh, that's why I need math, that's why I need basic literacy skills. They do better uh, academically, uh, they have a higher graduation rate, and they go on to get an industry certified credential. I would support a freeze of, uh, of tuition. You're gonna adversely impact uh, middle class and. Uh, people from working class backgrounds being able to go to our state universities have continued to inc increase tuition. Greg Abbott seems afraid to debate me. He's afraid to talk about issues. He just, his whole point is uh, he's got a ton of money and therefore he's going to win. Uh, that's, you know, the voters of Texas are going to want more than that. The rhetoric is great from these guys, but uh, I look at the record and I haven't been all that impressed. I think it's a problem for both Democrats and Republicans. They've lost touch with the, the American people and they're more about uh, the rhetoric than about truly solving problems based on our principles.